Well, this morning we have an update to a story we first reported earlier this month that will definitely get your attention. Yeah, Bonnie Nelson feared homelessness because the Social Security Administration was clawing back $34,000 worth of overpayments that they had made to her late husband. What was she to do? On your side, Susan Campbell is here now with the details of what happened next. This, we, and the scary part is you've received many more lots emails more. regarding this. Yeah, lots more. So right after the story aired, we heard from a lot of people who really wanted to help Bonnie. We also heard from a lot of people who were facing similar insurmountable bills, tens of thousands of dollars. In Bonnie's case, we just learned her monthly payments will soon start again. She said, I want it. She said, you'll get your first check on the 24th. Bonnie Nelson was on the hook for $34,000 worth of Social Security overpayments to her late husband, Philip. A letter from the Social Security Administration spelled it out. Money she would have received for Philip, about $1,900 a month, would be withheld until she paid off the balance. What do they expect people to live on? The Social Security Administration said Bonnie could request a waiver because of financial hardship. After our report aired, her waiver was granted, and beginning later this month, she will receive the money she counts on. It means I can pay my bills, and I can live like a normal human being. I can go to the grocery store. I can have food in my house. You were terrified the last time we chatted. Yes, I was. I was very scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. A recent report by the SSA Inspector General says in 2022, SSA recovered $4.7 billion in overpayments, while people still owe $21.6 billion. They told me that I was, I owed them $80,000. Sabrina Frederick says Social Security kept about $6,000 from her before she filed a waiver about a year ago. It stopped the clawbacks, but she says she hasn't heard anything since. It kind of made me feel like I was being criminal, like I was stealing from the Social Security, which I didn't. That was all on them. It's a familiar story. I've represented many claimants seeking a waiver, and it can stretch on for years. All the while, benefits can be stopped, collection activity is occurring, and that causes an SSI claimant who's already living on a, a, an amount that is poverty level to lose housing. A spokesperson for SSA sent a statement to On Your Side saying our payment accuracy rates are high. Although overpayments can occur given the number of people we serve, the frequent changes in their circumstances and the statutory complexity of the programs. Adding each person's situation is unique and we handle overpayments on a case by case basis. Earlier this month, Bonnie feared she would lose everything. I will stay here till I die. But now she feels more at home than ever. SSA told me it does allow repayment plans as low as $10 per month, but says it can't tell me how many people have actually been granted a payment plan because their system is not designed to easily determine that type of information. The agency is also doing a review of overpayments. SSA says it's still in the beginning fact finding stages right now, and they are going to look at all of their policies and procedures because obviously this is a giant yeah. multi-billion dollar problem. Yeah. I, say, I can't even imagine how many people this affects yeah. across the country. Yeah. What know? is the general recommendation for all these people reaching out to you saying we're, we're yeah, in the so, same boat? So what I am doing, I'm I'm making sure that they are filing this waiver, mm -hmm. okay. following up, and then I am sending um, some emails to my contact over at SSA also to just say, can we flag this? Can we escalate this awesome. a little bit? Um, and so that's how we're handling it. But like they said, it's a case by case basis yeah. and every single one of these has to be looked at. Well, that's really great that you're doing that though, Susan. Thank, Thank you. you, Susan. That's why